Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, I wish I wasn't making this report. But, uh... We're massing troops in Lithuania near the Russian border, and I guess the Russians are deploying nuclear-ready missiles in the province of Kaliningrad, which borders Lithuania. So, we're... Obama is basically aiming a gun at them, and they're aiming, aiming a gun at us, is what it amounts to. And it's a Mexican standoff, except that's not happening with Mexicans, obviously. And with the Lithuanian Defense Ministry spokeswoman asked to Gallicate uh, confirmed America has offered additional military support from following Russia's annexation of Crimea. She said the United States was first to offer safety assurance measures to the Baltic countries following the deterioration of the security situation in the region after the annexation of Crimea. She added U.S. Special Operation Forces present in Lithuania is one of the deterrents against military threats by Putin's aggressive regime, reports the Express. Now, this wasn't just in the Express. New York Times is saying the same thing. U.S. Military General Raymond T. Thomas said the New York Times has persistent presence in the Baltic states bordering Russia. Uh, we have, we're there, and we're facing off with the Russians, as one well amounts to. He yeah, that many former Eastern Bloc countries are scared to death of Russia, and the vulnerable states are desperate for American leadership. U.S. and its NATO allies will send battalions up to 1,200 each into three Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, and Poland by spring this year, reports the New York Times. Lithuania's Foreign Minister Linus Linkovicus, whatever, confirmed Russia's military activity in Kaliningrad is terrifying the region. He said that as Kander missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads have been deployed, there are S-400 missiles and modernized jets. That's just fucking lovely. I'll show you a New York Times article just... Uh, dozens of new U.S. states special operation forces are now in Baltic bolstered training and resolve of troops are confronting a looming threat from Russia and the enhanced Americans' ability to detect Moscow's shadowy efforts to destabilize former Soviet republics. They are scared to death of Russia. General Raymond T. Thomas, head of Pentagon Special Operations Command, Visited here recently, some of the tiny militaries of Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, they are very open about that, and they're desperate for our leadership. So there you go, we're massing troops in those Baltic uh, states, especially Lithuania, and the Russians are pointing missiles at us. Dangerous times ahead, folks. No question about it. And this one is agreed to by both right-wing and left-wing sources that there's something going on, so... This is not a polit... Well, it is political, because Obama and Democrats love to stay in power. They love to start a war with the Russians just so they can. I'm gonna cut this short, but, uh... Gonna be in dangerous times here, folks. Don't know what's going to happen. This world is so damn unstable, and much of it is by design. 
I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.